Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have uh, Gunicore installed, and now we need to create this file called whiskeypy. <clears throat> so we just do the uh, vi whiskeypy, and it's going to be the runner for this application. So this should um, be familiar to you. Uh, I press I, but just in case, to enter insert mode. So remember this, um, this um, kind of like uh, code that would uh, let the application find the the path where the file was running from. So we need that here. Um, OS path dot their name where the file is, and then comma dot dot which is the parent folder and then three parentheses next we're going to do from uh, flask blog import app and then we're going to do if name equals main which is if we run it from the from the terminal so here count four spaces because that's what the um, the tabs uh, look like on the on the editor so I do app run and here I can pass the uh, like the bug and host and all that but because it's gonna be kind of like the production environment we don't want to like pass anything we just just pass app run but you can add debug equals true there as a um, parameter um, the other thing we want to do is we want to um, we want to test this out so the way we do that is we need to open a uh, port. Uh, we're going to run this on port 8000, uh, which is normally where Gunicorn runs stuff. But for that, we're going to have to um, to add a port uh, uh, open. And the way we do that, we again, we go through the firewall and we do sudo ufw allow 8000. And... Um, this is um because i already had done it uh before because i was testing things out it's saying skipping but normally it would say it's adding the the rule but make sure you do that before we test this out okay and so how do we run the the gunicorn command uh it's very easy we just need to do uh, gunicorn um dash dash bind and we're going to bind all the request for the server on port 8000 to WSGI app, um, which is the app variable that we have on that WSGI file. And now we press enter. Oh, uh, we had a mistake there. It's bind, not bing. <laughs> there you go. So now it's running and it's listening to uh, port 8000 for any request. So how do we test that? Uh, we just need to put the um, the IP of the of the server 159.203.82.46 into the browser. So let's see how we do that. So let's put the um, the IP address and then port 8000 here and. internal server error so what happened um, that is a good sign actually because that means that it's getting to the Python application um, and here we see the reason why it says access an i4 from zero at localhost using password no so um, yeah that means that we're we're actually hitting the the mm -hmm. Python but now we need to make the connection between the database um, and the application um, and we might need to install a couple of other Python libraries, but uh, let's see how we do that. 